Good morning everyone, this is Steve with Firelight. Hey, I'm going to do a quick video on how to do it yourself Crisco candle, all right? Um, I've done these experiments in the past, so I've got some here that are already got some Crisco in it. I use the store brand, it's a lot cheaper, but um, last night I did an experiment and where the copper was touching, uh, the fluid was nice and it burned, but when it got down below the copper, uh, it solidified. So we're going to go with a smaller volume, okay, smaller candle will be better, especially this type. You, the materials you're going to need for this is you're going to need carbon felt for the wick. You're going to need uh, half inch tubing, the kind that the air conditioner man uses, the coil soft coppers tubing, half inch. You're going to need wire, 14 gauge wire. Okay, so you're going to need those materials. So 14 gauge wire, half inch tubing, and some carbon felt. And a small vessel. The smaller the better. Now I know you can stick a wick down in this thing in the last 72 hours and I understand that. But what we're going for here is a really nice flame. Yeah, that's what we're going for. Okay, let's get started. First you're gonna need some tubing. You don't have to have this much, but you can you can find a chunk, somebody willing to give you a chunk, you can uh, you can use a hacksaw, or you can get one of these cutters if you got one, and uh, you're gonna measure about an inch and a half. You're not gonna go up any further than that. So let's measure an inch and a half. About there. That's about good right there. Inch and a half. Okay. I'm gonna show you how to do this yourself. Ah, uh, using Crisco. And you know you can use olive oil as well. But this is a way that you can do it yourself with minimal tools, okay? Now, you have a piece of half inch tubing, one and a half inches long, and what you do here is, with a pair of needle nose pliers, you stick it in there like that, and you just ream it with your needle nose pliers. It gets rid of some of that, it even, even kinda flares it out a little bit, you know what I mean? Just a little bit that okay like that and it makes it a really nice anyways and then do the other end okay it's like that okay so what that does is it opens up the tube just a little bit with your needle nose pliers it just opens it it just opens it up okay there's that now your tube is prepared Almost. Get yourself a little tiny drill bit. I don't know what size it is. It's small, about the size of your wire. And uh, just drill a drill a hole. Uh, you know, somewhere. Somewhere there, okay? Alright, so there's a hole. Copper stuff. But anyways, I'll vacuum it up. Alright, so you did that. You put a hole in there. And the reason for the hole, I'll show you why here in a minute. You take your 14 gauge. 14 gauge copper wire. And you cut it off, 
at 24 inches. All right, so, see, 24 inches. Right there, 24, see? There you go. And then you take your copper tubing, half inch, stick this in there just a little bit, and give it a twist. That's good enough, huh? Like that, right? And then take your uh, needle nose pliers that you had earlier and pull that out of the hole like that. And then just kind of fold it around like that. Okay, there you got that. Now, how do you finish the rest of your winding? Well, everybody's got a pill bottle. Everybody has, everybody should have vitamin D3, 5,000 IU. Everybody should have this along with garlic. It's like the going thing since COVID. All right, enough about that. Here we go. So you take your bottle, stick this on top like that, and keep going the same way that you're winding. So go down like this and go around like that. And just keep going around and around and around, just like that. Just keep going all the way around. Now, what you're doing is you're you're forming some sort of a stand. Okay, I know this is kind of crude, but it works for you. It works for somebody who doesn't have a lot of tools. All right, you can take your wire and you can bend it, and it kind of looks like that. Okay. You can even form just a little bit of a handle if you wanted to. Go like that. Maybe take your needle nose and form just a little bit of a, a handle like type thing if you wanted to. The problem is with this is this is not flared on top. Your wire slips up through. See how it slips up through? I like that. But that's okay. Now you saw that, right? Here it is. We've got it. Stick it down in there. Nope. Okay, if it's not the right size, take it like this in the palm of your hand and just give it a squeeze. Here. Just give it a squeeze like this. Just a little bit of a squeeze. Like that. Just like that. Hmm? Like that. And that fits. See how that fits? Put the whole side up. Why not? Okay. I hope you see this, okay? What I'm doing is I'm forming a candle, okay? I'm forming a candle. Okay, it's in the middle, all right? Now, what you do is you get yourself a piece of carbon felt. Uh, I cut mine off of a great big piece of blanket, six feet by four feet, but you cut these in strips. Just cut it in a strip. This is one and a, one and a quarter inch wide, okay? And then what you want to do is you want to cut it, well, anyways, that was flat. You want to cut it at one and a half inches, I'm sorry, two and a half inches, okay, two and a half inches, all right, see two and a half, right there, two and a half inches. And then you want to do the same thing that I do with my other candles. My This is a Forever Wick candle. And you really don't need flanges. You don't need a flange tool. I mean, I do because it's pretty. And it's very useful. The reason for my flange at the top is because I can pull up on my wire and it won't come off the copper. That's why the flange is there. Also, it helps the oil to go back down. But it... You know what? We don't care in this in this situation. We're using vegetable oil, Crisco, store brand. So just twist that in there. And flanges also help you get the carbon felt in there. So if you can flange it, it's better for you. 
but I'm showing you a way to do it without flanging it. Try to anyway. I'm gonna twist it back that because you twist it a lot, just kind of straighten it up a little bit, you know what I mean? You got that? Okay, and then bring it down. Something like that. Okay. Something like that. Yeah, something like that. Something like that. You saw it? Okay. Let's do the old cut thing here. One, two, three. One, two, three. That makes it uh, sit a lot better in your jar, see? Flatter. Just like that. Just like that down there like that. Like that. See? See how that looks? You kind of made that without any tools, really. You used your D bottle and... You used a little hole and you didn't even have to flange it. And you used a hacksaw or some other tool to cut it with. Just minimal tools. So let's fill this up with, with uh, Crisco, okay? Or store brand. Walmart store brand. Let's fill it up. Okay, here we go. Okay. Let's Put some things in the microwave. Let's heat that baby up. Fight enough. A few more seconds. Liquefied. Just like that. What was it? 40 seconds? <laughs> That's stinking cool, man. <laughs> There it is. Let's fill this up, okay? Here we go. I see that. Where it was just in the bottom of that big glass. Almost filled this one up. But we need to go a little bit higher with this. So, well, what do you think? <laughs> Why not? Let's liquefy this a little bit, okay? Let's do that. There we go. Alright. Speedy Gonzales. Let's pour the rest of this stuff in here and fill this candle up. Right to the top of that wick. You see that? Right to the top of that wick. Why not? There we go. That's all Crisco. Every bit of it. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to light it up. Okay? Let's light it up. Here we go. Got a lighter. Carbon felt. Oh yeah! Carbon felt doesn't burn! That's right. That's why we use lamp oil to light our wicks. All right, here we go. <laughs> Find yourself a little squeeze bottle, or if you have one, fill it up with some lamp oil and put your flame right on top of that carbon, carbon felt. Here we go. A little tiny flame right there on top of your carbon felt. One, two, three, four, five. Fine. Five drops should be fine. 
Now let's put a flame on top of that carbon felt. There's a flame. Isn't that amazing? Five drops of lamp oil. You got yourself a flame. <laughs> now, this is the part where you adjust it. Get your flame adjusted to the right height. Okay? Then, after it's adjusted to the right height, you can blow it out and solidify it. Get it solid. Put it in the refrigerator and make it solid. And then, after it's solid, then you can light it and watch how many hours it will last and how good of a flame you have. This way of doing a Crisco candle gives you a guarantee good flower of a flame. Beautiful flame. Actually, huh. that's really nice. I may have to adjust that down a little bit. <clears throat> Okay, so you've got a screwdriver or anything. Uh, you got a pair of pliers, and you take your pliers and you lift it up. You poke this down a little bit. And put it back down in there. Adjust the flame. All you're doing is poking it down just a little bit so the flame goes down. Turn it around. You don't want it too high, you'll have black smoke and it won't burn efficiently. Pick it up. Push it down in there just a little bit. In there. It takes a while to get your uh, flame adjusted, but once it's adjusted, it's fine. Then you'll never have to fuss with it again. looks kind of really good actually right there that'll build on itself that's actually a pretty good flame right there that's a real nice flame actually Ooh, that's hot and that's the whole idea the whole idea behind this whole thing is a smaller vessel the copper heating up your Crisco, making it liquefied so it'll burn it all the way to the bottom. That's what we're going for. We're going for heat. That's beautiful. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to put this in the refrigerator and I'm going to make it solid. And then we'll light it again.